All right, so um, we got a really big job that we're starting, and I wanted to bring Tammy in to talk about it because um, she's been working with Carol on this, and of course myself, and it's probably one of the larger jobs that we've ever done, and it's for Sam Cohen of Joey Corp. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows Sam. We've built three houses in Homerama. Yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, we're getting ready to do another one here very shortly. But this, uh, this house is phenomenal. It's about a 10,000 square foot house. Um, how many spaces? 11. 11 spaces. Mm -hmm. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Sure. 11. 11 spaces. <laughs> right, right. So the master uh -huh. closet. Yeah. <laughs> um, the master closet is about 650 square feet. Oh. So it's a big, big, Small, so yeah. like, like my living room and kitchen, okay. So. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, it's big. Uh, but I've been working with Beth Gilbert from Gilbert Interiors. You guys, I think of, you know her. You've worked with her so. on some jobs before. And oh, she's wow. built cool. really, really very familiar with our product. So it's been really helpful because she's made all the selections of uh, finishes oh, right. and hardware okay. and that kind of thing to keep the look of the house in harmony. Gotcha. So, um, within the master closet, there's a dressing area, which is a vanity area mm -hmm. with a grooming drawer and where the woman can sit and get ready before she walks into her closet to get her clothes. Wow. So, right, okay. right. So, it's a beautiful space. Um, there's a tremendous amount of detail. I'm going to let Mike talk more about that. Yeah, detail. It's a big job. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like I said, upstairs in the bathroom, well, the vanity she was talking about, there's actually a drawer that we're putting a false bottom with uh, little carriers for our hair dryers, uh, no. curling irons, all that stuff, so right. everything's put away in the drawer. Um, the master bedrooms, both of them have six inch fluted columns, plinth blocks, crown, base molding. So this thing's getting decked out. Yeah. Decorative base. Uh, yeah, decorative base. Um, mirrored doors are going in both closets. Pants, racks, hampers. I mean, it's it's full bore. So. Wow. Okay. If there are any questions, we'll call it a wrap. All right. Cool. Everybody safe. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Jeff Brzezzi, owner of The Closet Factory, and we're really excited today to talk about the opportunity that we have with a custom builder in our area. Um, his name is Sam Cohen of Joey Corp. We've done a lot of work with him in the past, and we have uh, just a tremendous opportunity with this custom home that he's building in Virginia Beach. And typically, you're used to us or seeing our designers on a job. But in this case, we are working with a design firm Beth Gilbert of Gilbert Interiors, who we've worked with in the past and who's responsible for picking out finishes and colors and a lot of the aesthetic elements of the job. Now, Tammy will be working with Beth and has been working with Beth on certain design elements of this job. And the two of them in combination together have just come up with some fantastic designs, finishes, and aesthetic uh, parts of this job that I think you're going to find truly amazing. I'm the operations manager at the Closet Factory. Today we're going to be talking about a humongous job, to say the least. We're doing a master closet for him, a master closet for her. We're doing all the closets. We're doing a pantry. Um, the pantry is actually going to have a, a ladder that slides around because it's, you know, 10, 11 foot ceilings. It actually secures to the walls with a metal bar. And the rollers are actually on the ladder. So the ladder actually rolls free and it's got a little safety catch that goes around the bar that the ladder will not come off the bar when they're up on the ladder. When you guys go out and see it, you can see actually how it's done. It's self-explanatory. And they actually did mocha trim in the middle and the ladder's gonna be mocha and the rest of the unit is anti-white. 
In the master bedrooms, we're actually doing uh, hamper baskets, um, pants racks. One section, we're doing uh, seven foot tall doors, mirrors on all the doors. Um, we're doing fluting, crown, base trim, everywhere in the whole house. They've picked uh, two colors to do all the sections. They do, they're doing mocha in most of the bedrooms and closets, and then their pantry, they did an antique white. Everything else is mocha, which is nice, because with the mocha, we're doing actually fluted columns, plinth blocks on the bottom, crown, uh, deco base, so all that's in-house. Actually, I've been staining some of it, so yeah, it's, it's all done here. I'm Beth Gilbert with Gilbert Interiors. I am the designer of this 10,000 square foot Mediterranean home. It is built by Joey Corp, Sam Cohen, and we're working with Closet Factory on all of the closets in the whole home, and we're here today to show you the layouts of them and how they're going to unfold for the final review. Let me show you the pantry that we're in front of here. We lowered the ceilings in here. It initially was a 12 foot ceiling height and we had decided that it was just a little too tall for the space so we lowered the ceiling down to 10 foot. The homeowner requested that we leave the, um, the shelving open for easy storage and access. We've added a um, ladder that will slide around for easy reach of the upper shelves in here. They've also requested a lot of outlets with a counter space here so that we can set it up as a working um, secondary kitchen if need be, if they would be catering or anything. They could possibly set this up as a butler's station as well. This is the master suite. This has been the um, oh, this has been the <laughs> the um, creation of all of us put together. Uh, we have taken the homeowner's input. We've used uh, closet factory's input and designs, my input with design, and we have melded all of them together, and we have created an awesome master suite here. And this is the master closet again, his side. Um, as you can see, we are still under construction, but this is going to be his double hang over here um, to hang his shirts and pants, whatever he needs. Back here, we're going to have, um, again, like her side, um, shelves with mirrored doors that will open. Again, it's to make the space feel a little more open once you get back in here. And then we'll have a, uh, a tower of shelves on this side with a mirror for him, almost like a dresser or a bureau to get dressed in the morning there. As you can see on this side, uh, we stayed with all mocha on the uh, materials. We were again trying to give him the masculine feel and her a feminine feel, but yet we still trying to tie the two together. Um, so we just ended up pretty much leaving the wall um, cream behind it to kind of help tie in the cream from her side and then just left all the, the mocha finish in here to give it the masculine flavor that we were after. Now, what you don't see here are the shoe racks. Um, what we did have is this wall over here that it's not just women that has shoes, it's men and women. You will love the shoe wall and purse wall over here. And this is the shoe accessory wall here. This was fun designing, um, getting enough space for their shoes, handbags, and accessories. Um, here we have the three sections in the middle with the shoe stops. The two outer doors will have uh, frosted doors to uh, hide and cover anything that you may not want to see, old flip-flops, tennis shoes type things on your shoe wall. And then we added hamper um, spots on each side of the built-ins as well so they can throw all their dirty clothes in, even has a his and her hamper as well here. Now let's go see her side of the closet. And this is her side of the closet. This was great fun to work with them on. Um, part of our challenge on this whole closet was that we did have a his and a her side. 
So we kind of put our heads together to integrate um, some of the female, the, the feminine touches to her side, but still keeping the design consistent throughout the whole closet here. So we did end up doing the, as you saw before, the makeup area was in the um, bisque material, and we pulled the bisque through to here as well. Um, that also kind of helped lighten and brighten the space. As part of the layout, we did the double hang down one side of the closet here. This part back here, this will actually be mirrored doors on this unit. Um, you will not see the shelves as you look into here. It'll be mirrored doors that open up and have the shelving behind it. One of the reasons for putting the mirrored doors down there was that it made the closet feel more endless. It's just what we needed with this closet, it's an endless closet as big as it is. But it, it just kind of, once you start putting your clothing in here, it will start to close in and darken a bit more. So with the light and the mirrors down here, it'll reflect the daylight and it'll just brighten the whole corner down there. Then as you turn the corner, we just had a bunch of shelving so that she can put her sweaters and sweatshirts, whatever, there. And then we had the longer hang over here with shelves above. Also in the master, if you saw, um, there is not much wall space. So we do have to maximize the drawer space that is in the closet here. So we have banks of drawers down this side as well as the other side of the drawers there too. Closet Factory just did a great job with um, the coordinating of the materials and getting the details together. We just feel like it, it's going to be a really nice a, a nice space when they're finished with it. So there you've seen all of the closets in this magnificent home and we are so excited. We're, we're anxious to see the end product which we're going to invite you back to see the final review at the end of all of this. But we hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's it's going to be a gorgeous home and we just hope that they have a great time here. Gilbert Interiors had a great time working with Tammy and Jeff at the Closet Factory. They made this process very easy. Um, they're professional. They think of things that you don't think of. It, it was just a great teamwork together. Um, Sam Cohen with Joey Corp um, has partnered with Closet Factory for years and um, that tells me something. Quality um, begets quality. So it, it's just it's a great uh, team. We're gonna start with the pantry. Nice. Uh, love <laughs> it, Tammy. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, isn't this awesome? It really is. It really is. This is a really fun space. Mm -hmm. One of the things I loved about it is that it's not overly big, mm -hmm. but it had a tall ceiling. Yeah. So we just decided we need to use all the vertical space. We did. We did. We had to go up. Yes, yes, yes. So to make it usable, we added a rolling ladder. Yeah, that was perfect. It is. That it is really perfect. is. It just makes so much sense because of the height of the unit. Uh, the couple of things I love about this is all of the trim work in all of our spaces is either stained or painted wood, solid oh, wood. Nice. We used a nice substrate of composite uh, material that's really sturdy lifetime you don't have to worry about it so it can hold this rail and this ladder and the weight of a person no problem but to incorporate that really rich feel like i said all of our trims are stained and painted solid wood beautiful it look, makes a big difference it really does i just think it turned out perfect yeah oh they'll get lots of storage out of here yeah good space good so thank you space number one check yeah <laughs> done done <laughs> looks great So, Beth, here's the moment we've been waiting for, the Grand Master Closet. Oh, wow. Ah, Tammy, it's beautiful. Thank you. It turned out awesome. Thank you. There's a couple of great things I love about his side as well that aren't on her side. 
So the pant racks, um, they're super because there's a couple reasons that I love to use them when I can, and people don't understand why they're special. But first of all, obviously they slide out. So it, it brings the clothes to you. You're not reaching or looking behind the panels inside the section. The other thing is the hangers are always uh, where they should be. They can't live anywhere else. They don't fit anywhere else. Gotcha. So you always have the hanger in the proper place. They also have a very low profile so they take up a lot less height than a regular hanger would. Okay. So in this particular um, usage, we were able to put a slanted shoe shelf under the pants Nice. because of the uh, height that uh, we didn't have to use for the hanger. Very nice. Right. Very so, nice. Very cool. Yeah. And then above, he'll keep his shirts that go with those slacks. Uh, so it's very, very organized and every section has its own use um, of clothing. Very nice. So Beth, the last thing I wanted to point out on the back wall nice. was the L shelves. We kind Great. of puzzled on how to make that all work together with yeah. the mirror doors and have it flow. And that was a, a you, really good suggestion. You really. used the space perfectly because yeah. I just didn't like it dying into the corner there, right. just kind of a dead space. So when you suggested that L corner, it was perfect for that. Good, good. That's no perfect. wasted space, e space either with mm -hmm. an L shell. It was great. The customization uh, that Closet Factory was able to do, or is able to do, really makes it limitless to, to work around these kind of oddities. So. To see it finished, oh, it's, it's like oh, <laughs> all right. Because yeah. <laughs> every, it's always different. Every design is different. Yeah, and, and like we said in the master bedroom, because of the, all the windows mm -hmm. and the bed wall, there just wasn't anywhere for dressers or chest of drawers. So you accommodated plenty of shelving. We've got the drawers in here, the hamper space. I mean, it just we just didn't need dressers out there at all. So that was awesome in here. Good, good. And as you said, there's a bank of drawers. We made sure that he had a nice bank of drawers here. So his undergarments, uh, everything he needs to get dressed is all in one spot. And it's just so much quicker to get ready in the morning. It's nice. He's got a charging station mm -hmm. for his phone and any of his electronics he needs to charge overnight. He's got a tie rack. Um, right pants rack, belt rack that's coming, so it's just great organizational pieces. I hope they're as happy as we are. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know how they couldn't be. <laughs> you know. So, oh, what do you think? Beautiful. Beautiful. Is it what you hoped for? It's gorgeous. She's going to love it. I hope so. I really it. do. Uh, I thought it was just a, a, a wonderful combination of colors and textures. It was a challenge with them because of the his and hers. She didn't want a dark closet, he didn't want a white closet, so that's how we kind of ended up with the mix of the two in here, as we tried to appease her and him together, but I, I do love the way it turned out. It's Me beautiful. Too. Me too. Great. So the center island we kept in the antique white, and you suggested we do the fluting on the back wall mirror doors to tie that in. Beautiful. I think it just really, it really worked. Great, good, thank you. Yes, so as you can see, she's got 24 drawers in her island. So she really doesn't have a need for a dresser in the bedroom. Exactly, with the windows in there and the way the, the bedroom lays out, there just wasn't enough wall space to get dressers in there, really. So that definitely took care of the problem. It did, it yeah. did, it was a great solution. And she's got an entire wall of hanging. They didn't want to see any of the bore holes on the panels, mm -hmm. so we just did what we call required holes only, nice. and it has a much cleaner it, it is. finished look. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. And I love the finish that you chose for the rods, and the hardware yeah. selection was fantastic. Behind you, okay. we have her hampers. Mm -hmm. So these are pull-out hampers. Mm -hmm. the canvas liners, pop them out, take them to the washroom. Really nice, yeah. nice feature. And had her hampers and his hampers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We tried to keep it separated. Yes. So it, yes. again, it just keeps things more organized. I agree. And then behind these doors, the frosted glass doors, we have um, shoe shelving. And this is one of the very few places that we put the bore line 
for full adjustability for the height of her heels. Great. So she could get as much in there as possible. Great. Mm -hmm. The frosted doors are nice too because they were concerned about their not so pretty shoes being out in the open so it was a way to hide it but still kind of give it a little bit of light in there so it really looked nice. Yeah, I, I thought it was great. great and feature. then of course in the center they will put the shoes that they they do want to see. Um, mm -hmm. And Kali, let's face it, there are awfully pretty shoes out there on the market. <laughs> oh yeah, so they deserve they, that. <laughs> there with, some of them are works of art so it's almost like a display cabinet. Uh -huh. And the lower sections are for boots. So not only did we want to design the island to replace the dresser, we also have some unique uh, opportunity because of the space in here to utilize an ironing board for touch up. Yeah. So in the top drawer here what is a, a ironing board. What a nice feature. You don't have to get a big heavy ironing board out all the time. It's right there. It swivels, easy to use. <sighs> I know, I Necessary. know. Necessary. It's just a great item. And we put it, we placed it in this particular drawer just because of spacing. So she won't be interfering with the hanging clothes. So we use shelving in this nice. corner. So there was no more protrusion than necessary. Very cool. You know, it's really fun working with uh, interior designers like you, Beth. It really is. It gives me a different perspective of the room. Thank you. Yeah, the, um, I enjoyed working with you all. We all kind of know what space we have and what we like in it, but you guys are the experts of getting it laid out and where it all flowed nicely. You know, you guys were very concerned about the island placement mm -hmm. so that we had enough space between the hanging mm -hmm. and the island uh, itself. So just all the details that you, you looked over really made a great team between the two of us. I think the client's gonna love it. Um, I think they've waited long enough. They've waited a year and a half now to get in. And I think once they start getting stuff in place, they're going to realize how, how much the Closet Factory has helped with their organization of the closets and, and their storage. Uh, needs. Closet Factory was great to work with on this project. They made everything very easy, um, helped with the layout of the design, We um, helped, helped me with the finishes to get those straight, made a lot of good suggestions along the way that I might not have necessarily thought of in the planning of the closet. So it really was a great teamwork with them. Wow, what a project. This was tremendous. I'm so happy the way it turned out. I hope the homeowners are too. Beth Gilbert from Gilbert Interiors is fantastic to work with. Carol DeBacco, a lead designer at Closet Factory, was instrumental. Jeff Brzezzi, the owner of the company, did a lot of designing. It was just a lot of fun. Um, Sam Cohen with Joey Corp, the builder of this house and the builder of our Homorama house, which is where I'm heading now to do all the closets there.